वेलकम टू पार्ट ट्वेंटी ऑफ लार अवर नाइन सीरीज इन विच वी आर क्रिएटिंग द मल्टी वेंडर ई कॉमर्स वेबसाइट सो वी आर वर्किंग ऑन दी वेंडर्स मडूल एंड वी एबल टू अपडेट द पर्सनल एंड बिजनेस इन्फॉर्मेशन इन द लास्ट फ्यू वीडियोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गुम टू अपडेट दी बैंक डिटेल्स ऑफ दी वेंडर ओके सो वी आर ऑलरेडी हैविंग दी बैंक डिटेल्स structure and bank details table okay uh, the information that we have added in bank details with the help of cedar you can see we are having the information in the bank details and now we need to add the provision in admin panel so that the vendor can able to update his bank details okay so uh, we will follow the same steps first of all we are going to check our route this is our route in which we are going to uh, pass the uh, bank as a slug okay so uh, and it will reach here so we will add the condition uh, for the bank this time and also we are going to add uh, here the condition so that we can uh, get uh, we can make the bank form the information of the bank to collect the information of the bank from the or from the vendor okay so i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here and here going to replace it uh, with the update bank information this time and also uh, I'm going to replace here now we need to uh, pass that slug bank okay bank here it will come as bank and now information vendor user email we will keep it same and after that we are going to add the fields let's check the fields of the bank these are the fields we are going to add account holder name bank name account number and bank ifc code so here we are going to make account holder name so the same details we are going to have account holder name everywhere and also see vendor details here uh, we are going to get the details of the uh, vendors like in the same way we are getting this vendor details here also we are going to get the details this time from the vendors bank detail okay this is the model that we are having so this model we are going to add at the top as well at the top of the file in the same way see now you will find it easier because we have already done uh, two times so now it must be easier for us okay so just the copy paste kind of thing we are going to do so vendor id will be matched with the vendor id that is currently logged in and uh, we uh, will just return this vendor details to our update vendors details form okay so same it will reach here in vendor details account holder name so after that we are going to add the another one that is the bank name Here we are going to make it bank name now. Make sure you update everywhere like account holder name. We also require to update here. So after that, account number. IFC code so remaining fields are not required at all we can remove up till this date So now we can check one. I'm going to click on bank details, and here comes the bank information. Okay, uh, vendor user uh, name email. We are will show it like this. Then account holder name, bank name, account number, and bank IFC code. So now we are going to update this one. So we will just simply 
copy this uh, is post method okay we can just simply copy this one and we'll paste here and we'll make changes we will get the poster data here so instead of this shop name now we are going to have, have that account holder name okay so all the required columns for columns we are going to make it mandatory okay so uh, we are going to replace it with the account holder name that we required uh, as a character name character okay uh, only the characters will be there no numeric okay so after that uh, we will have that uh, uh, the bank name okay bank can be alphanumeric as well but uh, account number and uh, both uh, uh, IFC code IFC code may be alphanumeric but account number must be in numeric only so we can add the condition numeric condition for the code number but uh, for the bank name uh, we can do one thing uh, we can remove that regular expression just required is enough okay and also we are going to remove this one fine so now see account holder name we have two validation required and regular expression and bank name only one validation and after that uh, see for uh, account number for account number yeah we will have the validation as numeric for account number so we will write here uh, like uh, here account holder num account holder name is required valid account holder name is required uh, here bank name is required then account number is required okay so valid account number is required fine and after that one more uh, that is uh, the ifc code bank ifc code bank ifsc code okay so this one also is required uh account number and then the valid account number after that uh bank ifc code and only the required validation is enough for this one we will just keep a bank ifc code is required and now we are going to make changes in our see this one is not required at all we don't have any uh, image here so we can just remove that unwanted code and here we are going to update now this time in vendors bank details table okay so here we are going to update in vendors bank table uh, that vendors bank detail table okay so we are going to match the vendor id with the vendor id that is logged in with the uh, vendor id of the vendor that is logged in currently so we are going to update all the required information like account holder name and after that the bank name and after that the account number and after that the last one being bank ifc code so we are going to remove this one okay now we are able to update all the required information all the bank information of the vendor so let's see let's refresh this one now we are going to update like if i will remove this one and click on submit then it will ask me to account holder name is required and in the same way if i will remove all then it will ask me uh, to add the all the information so this is the way we need to work on for all the forms so like the name is now the john singh suppose the name is john singh here that person want to write the ifca bank suppose his number is wrong and he want to add this number the ifc code is wrong he want to add this ifc and click on submit and let's see so vendor details updated successfully and john singh updated icic now it is icca bank so it is updated account number and bank ifc code also updated so we able to update all the information all the bank info information of the vendor okay so in next video uh, we are going to work on 
uh, admin panel uh, once again and uh, see admin is going to approve the vendor and also uh, we are going to use uh, the country drop down instead of that country field country drop down we are going to use uh, because we will not give that uh, uh, field uh, for the country okay country drop down and also uh, see yeah, we will log into the admin panel and the we will show all the vendors there as well so that the admin can able to approve based on the information given by the vendor okay so see these modules we are also going to show to, to the admin as well okay and admin able to view those and admin able to approve those vendors as well so that the vendor can able to add the further information uh, 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 vendor can able to add the products uh, to display on the website okay so stay tuned for that uh, we will continue working on the uh, on these modules and also we will start the e-commerce modules very soon so uh, if you have any queries you can surely ask me and do join the channel to get the complete code up till this one and and complete support okay then that's all for now have a nice time goodbye